You want to know the secret. The secret about Olympic lifts? They build a whole lot of muscle. The way I select the width I'm using if I'm doing a snatch grip movement is to look at the width of the grip that I will have to rest the bar in the crease formed by my lower body and my torso here while my arms are extended and my lats are engaged because that's the power position when if I want to snatch that's where I want the bar to be okay so if I'm taking this width for example I'm doing my hinge it's too high if I'm taking this width I'm doing my it's too low so for me it would be this position here where the bar is in my crease when, when I'm having that grip. The muscle snatch is one of my favorite exercises both as an overall uh, athletic exercise but also to build muscle. I'm going to start by demonstrating what it looks like then explain how you should do it. So what, you, what you're seeing is I first do kind of like a high pull here and when I reach the highest position, I do an external rotation as I'm pressing. There's no segmentation of the movement. It has to be one fluid movement. It's not like I'm lifting, then stop, and then pressing the bar, okay? You want it to be an explosive and fast movement, one continuous motion. Let's see that again. So first, Pull, then external rotation and press at the same time. So it's not like a, a snatch where you're actually trying to be as fast as possible, almost jumping in the air. It's roughly kind of like a push press, so it's a combination of upper body and lower body. What it looks like in slower motion. First, you pull the bar like a high pull. So you go up on your toes and traps, calves and traps, calves and traps, calves and traps into external rotation. You notice when I lower the bar, I'm going to slow it first and I rotate and catch it on my legs. just to avoid having a whiplash effect on my lower back and shoulders. The high pull is a great way to introduce yourself to the more complex Olympic lifts. It also provides most of the benefits when it comes to explosive power as a power snatch or a power clean would do. And it's also a pretty darn good exercise to build a whole yoke area, all right, as well as some lower body. What you're trying to do is create um, as much momentum upward as possible. Basically, the bar should have so much speed that from here to here, it almost travels on itself. You actually don't have to over pull with your arms. In fact, if you pull too early or too much with your arms, you lose speed and you make the movement more dangerous and a lot less effective. Let's see what it looks like. So what I'm doing is standing up fast. That's the key you should be thinking about. Stand up fast and at the end, toes, traps. That creates the final momentum. The faster you can go on your toes and shrug your shoulders, the more momentum you create and the more speed the bar will have. The two main mistakes with a snatch grip deadlift is first treating it like a traditional deadlift, which means that your hips are higher and it becomes a pure hinge pattern as opposed to a squatty hinge or squat. And the second mistake is not setting up the lats or the upper back properly so that the bar will drift forward. The wider the grip, the more the tendency to lose that tightness you'll have and the bar will drift further forward. So let's look at the proper setup. You'll see that I will first have my hips high, set my lower back, set my upper back, and then rotate my hips with using the bar as my, my pivot point. Setting up the back, upper back, rotate. Up. 
because I have short legs, for me it's more of a squat. If you have long legs, it becomes a squatty inch. If you enjoyed this information, hit that like button to let us know. Plus, if you never want to miss another T Nation video again, hit subscribe and that little notification bell right next to it.